Can you make it to those trees? Beautiful, you should have seen it. I just caught some shrapnel when I was bailing out. Here, let's take a look at you. It just knocked the wind out of me. How are we looking, sir? Yeah, they grazed you. Come on. We're gonna patch you up, buddy. Das ist eine von Ihnen. Meine Mutter. Meine Schwester. You! You! So, doch, Junge! Hello, Americana. For you, the war is over. It's beautiful. It's all yours. What's it called? How about Across the Sky? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> A long way across the sky. Play it one more time.
Don't worry. We take you home. Your new home. <laughs> out! 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 Ihr seid jetzt Gefangene des Deutschen Reiches. You are now prisoners of the German Reich. Trotz all eurer Bemühungen, unser Land zu zerstören. Despite your efforts to destroy our country. Werdet ihr mit Anstand und Ordnung gemäß der Genfer Konvention behandelt. You will be treated with all due civility, according to the statutes of the Geneva Convention. Wenn ihr euch an die Regeln haltet, werden wir es auch tun. As you follow the rules, we will follow the rules. Wenn nicht, dann wird es umso unangenehmer für euch. As you do not, you will find it more difficult. Gefangene den ausgewiesenen Baracken zuführen. Marsch! Halt! something to say? Your salute. Not unless you've been promoted several ranks in the past couple of days. You salute. No. I outrank you. Not about a salute, a master sergeant. Well, that doesn't stop Gail from trying about every other day. Welcome to the funny farm. I'm Larry Packer. Does either of you outrank Lieutenant Colonel by chance? Uh, no, sir. I'm a first lieutenant. My co-pilot here is a second. And I am still a senior American officer in this camp. Yeah. Well, the crowd's gonna shoot us down a colonel, huh? That's Second Lieutenant Vincent Petrolini, flight engineer. Vinny, I'm from New York. Claire Klein, Minnesota. Well, huh? It's a pretty name. Just call him Klein. Lee Whitaker, Abercookie. Hey, 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 what am I thinking? Sit down, sit down. Let's have a look at your leg. McCready. Yes, sir. Hand over your crutch. It's all right. It's not broken. It's just a sprain, buddy. That's roll call. Every morning, every afternoon. Come on, we'll help you out. Move, gentlemen. Whitman, Frederick. Here. Zimmerman, Raymond. Here. Fall out! You've met Klaus. It's best to stay out of his way. That's Bernd Weber. But we just call him the lifeguard. They're reading the camp newspaper. Allied camp newspaper. Issued daily by some fellas in North Compound 3 figured out how to make carbon paper. Vinny here built himself a radio. You built a radio here? With what? Oh, you know, this and that. And you'd be surprised what you can find around here if you're willing to pay for it, huh? The Red Cross cigarettes and coffee, they're like uh, gold in this camp. Chocolate ain't bad either. And you built a radio? Mm -hmm. And if the goons ever found it, I'd be in the cooler for a week. At the very least. So, gentlemen, this is home. Fellas, that's Jack Finley. He thinks he's Jack Dempsey. I, I think he's a spy for the Royal Air Force. All in a day's work. Wet, that's you over there. Klein, that's your billet. And, uh, Frank. Well, I don't know what Frank does besides lying his bunk all day. I guess he carves things. All right, Frank. Whatever it takes to fight the boredom. I could use a little boredom about now. Amen to that. That's because you're daft. You don't know anything yet. 
It's like Chinese water torture. They strap you down, and they let a little drop of water drip right in the middle of your forehead, over and over. And at first you're thinking, if this is all they've got, then keep it coming, lads. Because you're daft, and you don't know anything yet. Before long, you're ready to trade anything or say anything just to stop that next drop from falling. But it doesn't stop. And that's when you start to hear things that aren't there and see things that aren't there. And finally, your mind just snaps. Every day in here is another drip. 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 You're right. We had a fellow up in North Compound, too. Went wire happy. Thought he could get over the fence. They shot him before he was even halfway up. See what you got. Hey, I got it. Hide! I'm just trying to get the ball, sir. Come on. Hide. Cooler. Three days. Oh, I was just trying to get the ball. That'll be all, Lieutenant. Okay. All right. Where are we going? Hey, see you later. Okay. <laughs> in there for three days but you may want to listen up fellas <laughs> yeah he did the same thing on every bomb run <laughs> i think he's gonna be all right you know he sounds just like my mother <laughs> Hey, you want? It's mine. I want it. Was machst du denn hier? Heimaturlaub. Sieben Tage bin auf dem Hauseweg zu Mama. 
Ich dachte, ich schau mal vorbei und äh, überrasche dich mal. Das ist sehr gelungen. Mensch, immer noch die Heulsuse, du älterer Bruder jetzt. Na komm, setz dich. Hab ich doch gerade. Jetzt setz dich. Sieben Tage. Heimaturlaub. Habt ihr nichts mehr zu tun an der Front? Ist da alles ruhig? Ich hab's mir verdient. Ist doch so schlimm. Hm. Der Führer in seiner unermesslichen Weisheit bestimmt noch ein strategisches Schmankerl auf Lager. Und deine Mädels? Wie geht's deinen Mädels? Geht's gut. Wir sind immer noch bei Onkel Fritz in Lübeck. Hier guckt man das Dora und Gisela. Die wird jetzt sechs. Ja. Ich habe was für dich. Was? Ja. Habe ich nach einem Angriff ganz toll erobert. Als Andenken an deine Zeit beim Feind. Zu nichts zu gebrauchen, wirklich. <lacht> Vielleicht kannst du sie als Gardinen einsetzen oder so. <lacht> idea what she was thinking. Night before I left, I played her a piece of music on the violin. Something I wrote for her. You wrote her a song? She loved it. As soon as I finished, she asked me to play it again. But I didn't. I couldn't. You remember what they said to us when we were captured? For you, the war is over. But it's not. It's just changed, that's all. I think it's... It's more in here now. No? Guys like you are gonna get just... laugh it off. I just know how to put on a good show. Only ever took her out twice. I'm telling you, she's the one. And when I get back home, I'm going to marry this girl. Hey, this. I'm going to pass it around once it's done. Something to do, right? Well, good night.
Uh, hello. You fellas want to keep it down. Can you draw a violin? So you're actually going to build a violin. Why not? I've been making things out of wood my whole life. You ever made a violin before? I tried making one in high school. Yeah, how did that work out? Yeah. Oh, oh, and you think you can do it better here? In a prison camp? Something to do, right? But well, there ain't no hardware store around there, so where are you going to get your tools from? Can I help you, lads? I'm just admiring your work. OK. What do you want for the class? Nothing. It's not for sale. Well, not even a discussion? I could trade you for some. Playtime's over. Ah, come on. Unless you can get me a roof rabbit. A what? A climb? should move along. A roof rabbit. One of those. You want a pet cat? If you get me one, then you can have the glass. Where is he going? He's up there. Sir? Uh-huh. Can I borrow the clothesline? As long as you put it back. starts playing with the bait, the alarm will sound, and I'll give the line a good yank, and the crate will fall, and in theory, I've caught a roof rabbit. It could take a while. This is where you put the two F holes, one on either side. The F holes? Oh, the S type thing is. Yeah, the S type thing is. You're good. Where'd you pick it up? Here and there. I didn't realize you were so devout. I'm not. It's my son's name. Ah, got it. How old is your boy? What do you want? Where'd you get your tools? I need a few things. Can't reveal my sources. Well, maybe I could rent yours when you're not using them. I'm always using them. Here's your roof rabbit. Good luck getting him to calm down. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. It's a supper. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Do you really think they're gonna keep him as a pet, huh? I guess not. All this for that.
about there, huh? Those aren't thick enough and the wood is awful. Did you say you needed glue? Yeah. Wood glue, right? Yeah, preferably, but... I can get it. We're gonna have to make a deal. What are you thinking? Well, first of all, if I reveal my source, it stays my source. All right. What else? You're gonna have to give me something I want. What do you want? Fight me. <laughs> you want to fight? What? Right here? No. In the ring. Been done before. The goons even supplied the gloves. I could make a request. Come on, Lieutenant. How bad do you want this violin? Well, I need to see the glue first. Make sure it works. Yeah, Finley. Where did you get some glue from? Turn over your chair, you git. You're sitting on it. What are you talking about? Good. Just keep your gloves up. Keep moving. Okay? That's all you got for me? Uh, yeah. And, uh, good luck. Hey, I think I know where to get that wood for your neck. Violin? But I need a couple of minutes, so, uh, we'll put up a good fight till I get back, huh? Okay, buddy? Still with us? That was amazing. 
You are full of surprises, Lieutenant. Hey, wait. Will you cross off wood blue? I'll cross it off. That was fun, mate. Yeah, a real hoot. Talk to the RAF lads over in seven. If we need more glue, they'll let me scrape it off their chairs. Especially after the show we gave them. Well, that'll keep you busy. Something to do? I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Thanks, Benny. Hey, you weren't the champ. I mean, you look terrible, like a piece of beaten meat, but you know, what are you gonna do, huh? Five and a half on the side, though? I think so, huh? Uh, I got a side one. Mm -hmm. I'm done using this for now, if you need it. All right. but it just looks white to me. I miss you. Can you see me? It just feels good to keep working at it, you know? This one is ready for publication. <laughs> Fellas up in three are gonna make a bunch of copies and get it around the camp. Do we know anyone with access to Herman's office? What do you need? His blinds. Hey, there's a guy in the West Com who knows the Russian that cleans Herman's office. How many blinds do you need? Four should do it. Okay. Oh, take one of these. I understand you like American coffee. Yeah. Hello? Guys. Ja, was gibt's? Ich hab da was im Lager gefunden. Ich dachte, das könnte sich vielleicht interessieren. Einmal mal her damit. Ach, und das finden Sie lustig? Nein, 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 nein. Natürlich nicht. Enemy up. the artist. You did this. No, sir, I have no idea who would do that. Let's untersuch him. How did 
those get there. And the cooler. I know something. All right, fellas, ante up. How long is he in for? Ten. Ten days? Sir. Yeah, we need to bring him some things. Here. There. OK, I give him. And you give me. We just gave you. Frank. You want to chip in here? Lieutenant Romero. Is that an order, sir? No. No, it's not an order. No, no, no. Books. Well, this is our food. Yeah. I give him. Wait. This, too. from Klein. What's your beef, Lieutenant? Why don't you make a little effort to get along with the other guys? If for no other reason than your patriotic duty. Patriotic duty? I signed up a day after Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Don't look so surprised. I was raring to show those Japs a thing or two. And instead, they made me a bombardier. Sent me to Europe. Told me it was my patriotic duty to drop bombs on a bunch of German families. Hold up, son. We don't bomb civilians. Oh, well, unless your bombardier was a lot better than I was, you also hit a lot of houses. No one got shot down. And captured. I saw the damage we do. Saw a little boy, about my son's age, dead in his mother's arms. Thought we were supposed to be the good guys. There's nothing black or white in any of this. But I can tell you, Frank, this war will end. And how we face it in here will make all the difference when it does.
Give me the charcoal. Sleep. That's normal. Before your first one. And before your eighth one, apparently. This is your eighth mission, Captain? And you know I'm a first lieutenant, right? Yes, sir, Captain. <laughs> a year ago, right now, I was sitting in Mr. Kratzer's algebra class just dreaming about being over here. Up in the air. Dropping bombs on the Nazis. Kind of a dream come true. <laughs> Sir, what if we... We'll talk about this tomorrow night. After we get back. But what Alistair. If we... What if we don't make it After back? we get back. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, what? Good to have you back. I knew where. I got it. Thank you. You salute. Forget it. Every detail. Now I can't remember. You gotta hold on there, buddy. Because it's all gonna come back to you. All right? Everything. But you gotta hold on. Come back. I promise. Man, you're ugly. How'd you get all the girls, huh? Inside. His, his hearing, it's been, it's been bad since. Thanks, family.
Hold on. So you were with him? He was trying to stop him. Yeah. Do you know where I learned to speak English? In America. Boston College. I studied mathematics. I love the Red Sox. I hate the Yankees. We go. This is from Bernd. Come. took his mattress to another barracks until someone else moves in.
I need pine resin. Well, we're surrounded by pine trees. So I'm sure we can figure the resin out. something a bit more fun, like a baseball bat or something, but no. I'm stumped. Any ideas? I'll ask around. Your new home. You are now prisoners of the German Reich. I hate the Yankees. Hey, do you want to see Gary Cooper in that uh, baseball movie, the uh, Luke Garrett, huh? Yeah, see that movie? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it? It's good. Come on. Do any of you fellas have uh, a violin bow? Talk to Brian. Is that yours? Yeah, I guess. It was here when I got here. You use a violin bow to prop the window open. When it stinks in here, yeah. Why? Come with us. Bring your bow. <laughs> what do you want for the bow? Nothing. You can have it. Best of luck. Thank you. Luck of the Irish, huh? Unbelievable. Fellas, <sighs> got company. I help you. Do you like? I like. What do you want? You didn't salute him, did you, sir? Not on your life. No, no, he had something else in mind. You just want some hooch? No, he wants the hooch maker. I know, sir, I can't. It's all right. It's all right. You can help me make another one. Yes, sir. Blackie doesn't want to play. <coughs> Blackie doesn't want to lose. <laughs> you may be the commanding officer in here, but you are one of the worst car players I've ever played with. <laughs> I don't dispute. <laughs> Sir, will you hand me the bow? Of course. Here you are. Thanks. With me. That can't be good. Yeah. 
Can't do another year in here. You've already heard. Powers that be are enacting changes in protocol. Food rations will be cut, and all Red Cross deliveries will be halted until further notice. <coughs> Give me dog tags. Oh, four. Hey, come on, it's Christmas Eve. Okay. Thank you. Pop had a dream and said that you'd be home in nine days. But I don't know. I just keep thinking. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men, over and over and over again. Golly, Klein. That was beautiful. More. Ich dachte, Sie wären über Weihnachten verreist. War ich. Und diese Nachricht erhalten. Es tut mir sehr leid. Ich weiß, dass Sie Ihrem Bruder sehr nahe standen. Es ist klar, dass dies nicht der günstigste Zeitpunkt ist, aber ich dachte, Sie würden nicht wollen, dass ich Ihnen diese Informationen vorenthalte. Nein, das ist schon recht so. Ich danke Ihnen.
Merry Christmas, sir. Give me the violin. No, sir. Give me the no, violin. Give me the violin. Klein, stop. Give me the violin. Because First Lieutenant Claire Klein assaulted a German officer, he will be held in solitary confinement until further notice. Klaus won't let anyone near him. Gil won't even trade for extra food or blankets. None of the goons will. are gonna let the Russians just come in here and set us free. No, no, they'll they'll, they'll take us outside and shoot us long before. No, that. come on, Frankie, we're going home, yeah, huh? We've got home, oh, Frankie. Oh, well, fellas, he's right. More likely, they'll force us to retreat with them. Either way, it's a death sentence. Enemy up. Help them out, fellas. Do what they're saying on the radio. The Russians are close. Weeks. That's what they're saying. This is yours. Master Sergeant.
can't sleep either. Yeah. Come on. I was kind of hoping to hear you play that violin again. I'll help you fix it up if you want. I was kind of hoping someone would help me to the latrine. <laughs> I can help you with. Yeah, I can get you there, but after that, you're on your own. Come on. Clyde. Hey, hey, I need help here. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You look just like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> so the goons are getting nervous because the Russians are so close. So our days of wheat soup and wood and bread are numbered for you. You keep fighting me. Sir. When the Russians come, the goons are going to march us out of here. What are they going to do with those who can't walk? Don't you worry about that. We're not going anywhere without you. You just get better. Wie lange glauben Sie? Eine Woche vielleicht. Und dann? Befehle befolgen. We outnumber the goons ten to one. We get everyone together and we have a good Not chance. without losing a lot of men. All due respect, sir. But if we do nothing, then they take us on some death march. BBC already said it's happening in other camps. Some guys in Barrack 7 made a whole load of these. I can get more. If I go down, I go down fighting. I'm with him, sir. With dignity. I hear you, boys. Hey, Frank. Don't. That's all right, Benny. Well, for starters, we're gonna need some more glue. Clark. Here. 
Marion Collins. Here. Hey, Captain. Lester R. Evans. Yeah. Hey, Al. So what I tell you? That we talk about it when we got back. And? And we got back, Captain. Important safety tip. Always trust your pilot. What if I just want to go home? I want to go home. I want to go home. Here. I'm here. We, uh, I've got something for you. Well, don't look at me. Frank here did the work. Oh, no. I, I had a lot of help. Hopefully this still works. Why don't you tune it up? See how it sounds? Maybe not right now, fellas. Thanks all the same. Our commandant requires a presence. This is where it comes down, lads. We have more of these. And there are men all over the camp ready to fight if we have to. Goons come back. They'll get more than they bargained for. Not yet. But we need to wait and hear what Pax says. Just, just wait for him to come back. If he comes back. Lieutenant Packer, da Sie hier der ranghöchste amerikanische Offizier sind, muss ich... Lieutenant Colonel Packer, as you are the senior American officer in this camp, I am to inform you that Russian forces are nearing the camp and will likely reach it within two days. Mein Befehl vom Oberkommando lautet, das Lager sofort zu... My orders from High Command are to... Alle Gefangenen müssen in zwei Stunden... ...evacuate the camp immediately. Wer sich verspätet... Prisoners must be ready to leave the camp within two hours. We will... Escort you to a safe location. No, sir. We're not leaving. Walking out of here with you, it's a death march. You'll have to shoot us first because my men, Do not we're not force going anywhere. Our hand, we'll stay Colonel right here Packer. and wait for the rush. This will not be good for you or any of the prisoners. They want to live. Ich befolge The Russians will be here in hours. Aber it's wenn Sie over. Das Leben hier it's too late.
who write this music. I did. For my wife. Good luck with the Russians. Klein! Thank you.